a lot of people want to know, uh, from the Russia domestic politics point of view, what is Putin's mindset? Seems to be a question on everyone's minds. Let me start by saying something I think is important for political scientists, but for the public as well. It really won't help us much to do what Americans often do, which is to go back and forth between the idea that the person is a rational actor or they're crazy. We like to do that in America because basically when we agree with leaders, we tend to think they're rational. When they stop agreeing with us in foreign policy, we resort often to the insanity argument. Saddam Hussein, you saw that kind of uh, dance take place. These are not analytic categories in these kinds of situations. What we want to do is figure out the person's worldview as best we can. And yes, that does mean getting in the person's head, but that isn't just a tea leaf reading exercise. It means if we know enough about the history and the culture and the background of the situation, there are better ways to analyze these perceptions. In this context, I want to make the case I've made in several recent articles, which is the best way to understand Putin's Russia today is with an old category from the German sociologist, sociologist Max Weber, uh, which is he's a patrimonial leader, pure and simple. And here's the definition, which comes from Weber, more or less in these terms in 1920, uh, that this is ruled by self-aggrandizing men. He does use the gendered element uh, in 1920 who present themselves as the embodiment of the nation, demand personal loyalty, and run the state as a kind of family business. They give out parts of it to the loyalists. And as you can see from that definition, there are other leaders in the world today who fit the category. And that's part of our issue, is that there is something going on we call the global patrimonial wave. My co-author Jeff Kopstein and I have published about that. Putin, we argue, was the originator of that wave, but it obviously has spread much further to every part of the world. And that mindset is part of the reason we have the foreign policy decisions that we've seen in Russia today. So the goal Putin has at the moment is to rebuild not the Soviet Union. When you keep hearing people say he said the collapse of the USSR was the greatest geopolitical catastrophe of the 20th century, he did say that. But in the most recent rhetoric, it's pretty clear what Putin wants is the old mythical Russian empire. I say mythical because his version of Russian history is, as I think our historians in the room will agree, uh, convoluted and uh, taken from nationalist playbooks that don't have a lot of fact behind them. Uh, but it is not anymore the Soviet system that he wants to build. In fact, he blamed Lenin, Stalin, and Khrushchev for the creation of modern Ukraine in a recent speech and said, if the Ukrainians want to have decommunization, we'll show them what that looks like, meaning the Russian empire is back.